The guy I've been seeing is demanding that I choose him over my ex who happens to be my best friend. So my guy best friend Ben and I've been friends for a bit over five years now. During this time, we dated twice but never over one year at a time. We split amicably both times and figured that we just work better as friends after all. The intimacy was good and he really cared for me, but I just wasn't into it all that much. He wasn't very much into it either in my opinion. Ben and I have so much in common and we know each other so well that it's a running joke in our friend group that I'd be able to read his mind. Of course, this is not true but we can talk to each other openly and are just really comfortable around one another. We helped each other through dark times and I can always count on him. Ben is one of my closest friends who just happens to be my ex. We joke about our failed relationships like what were we thinking? And stuff like been there, done that fool me twice and so on. It's really just a joke to us by now and we will never try having a relationship ever again. Now, in late October I met this guy. Let's call him Chris. We met at a party and hit it off right away. We had a deep conversation and ended the night with a hookup. We didn't get in contact right away after that but by the end of November we started seeing each other. We haven't had the defining the relationship talk yet, but we agreed that we enjoyed getting to know each other and liked how things were for now. Fast forward a bit. My best friend and her boyfriend wanted to throw a New Year's Eve party. They invited all our friends and allowed dates to come along too. I thought this would be a great opportunity for Chris to meet all my friends officially. I already knew that Ben would be there so I mentioned it to Chris. Chris told me that he wasn't bothered and that it shouldn't bother him anyway since we weren't even official yet. I was happy that he took it so well but reassured him. That he could always tell me if he ended up being bothered and he wouldn't have to play cool just because we aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet. The night of the party comes. I introduce Chris as the guy I've been dating for a month now to my friends, we drink, we mingle, I catch up with them, Chris gets to know some of them and seems to enjoy it. Midnight comes, we start the countdown and I kiss Chris as the new year starts. After that I make my rounds. I hug all my friends, wish them all the best, kisses on the cheek are exchanged, the usual. We celebrate some more and nobody gets home before 5 a.m. Chris calls the next day and tells me he had a good time and I should thank my friend for the invitation on his behalf. I do exactly that and my friend tells me how lovely Chris has been and jokes that I should better make it official soon or else someone else will see what a catch he is and snatch him from me. Typical girl talk you know. So it seemed that both my friends and my potential boyfriend nailed their first impressions. All was well until I met up with Ben for coffee on Sunday. Naturally, the party came up and I asked him what he thought of Chris. Ben was hesitant at first but then told me that Chris had been a little frosty towards him. I decided to give Chris the benefit of the doubt. There were nearly 30 people at the party and maybe he didn't get the chance to have an in-depth conversation with Ben, so I didn't talk to Chris about this and told Ben that he might just be imagining things. Ben agrees and we don't mention Chris again for the rest of the afternoon. Which brings us to yesterday evening. I was over at Chris's place, we just finished dinner and were thinking of watching a movie before hitting the sheets. The conversation drifted off and Chris asked me about my weekend plans. I told him that some friends and I would meet for drinks on Saturday to celebrate a birthday. Then he asked me if Ben would be there. Not really knowing where he was going with. This I answered that, yes, he would also be there. And that's where it hit the fan. In a passive-aggressive tone he said how ridiculous it was how much time we spent together and that I should be with him if I loved him so much and how I always spent more time with Ben than him and how I hugged Ben for far too long on New Year's. I was so dumbstruck. Days before he told me he was cool with it, he even insisted that he was not at all bothered and now this? I told him that I've hung out with Ben only three times since we started dating, once for a Christmas celebration with some other people, once at the party on New Year's and the only one-on-one -on -one time was the coffee we had on Sunday. I also hugged all my friends at the party and didn't really count seconds to measure who got the longest hug. I tried to tell him repeatedly that I have no feelings for Ben. I tried to reason with him but he was really defensive all of a sudden and tried to argue that even if I didn't have feelings for Ben, he would most definitely still have the hots for me. That's where I got angry and told him that if he trusts me so little we might as well end it then and there. He didn't want things to end, me neither, and told me that he could really see a future with me if it wasn't for Ben. I explained that Ben is my friend and I won't ditch a friend for a guy who is this insecure only a month into dating. I didn't spend the night and went home instead. I still really like Chris but leaving friends behind is a huge deal breaker for me. He texted me this morning and asked me if I wanted to talk things over. I haven't responded yet and I honestly don't know what to do now. My head is a mess.